Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with my quick Saturday project. Yes, I do know what day it is. I know it's Sunday. Yeah, I just did not get round to doing it yesterday. I'm just faffing looking for my stopper off my glue bottle. Yeah, I didn't get round to doing it. Too busy, places to go, people to see, things to do. Yeah, so... <laughs> It's now Sunday evening here in the UK. This will probably go up early Monday morning for UK viewers and other people around Europe. Uh, you USA people will see it. Yeah, Sunday evening, I should imagine. Yeah. Right, what is it? Very simple. My brain is not doing complicated at the minute. So it's just a teeny cute little insert for a junk journal or a pocket folio. Or you could use it as a little happy mail or snail mail. Whatever you want. Uh, I've just put a bit of pink seam binding around it's got a little I just had to put that on I didn't feel the need to decorate this I like the paper I've just put this little rose charm on I got these from Fiona who is Miss Paint a lot uh, I will link her down below uh, she's got a fabulous channel and Facebook group and she sent me this when I was doing my rose themed junk journal uh, earlier in the year so yeah, I've got some left and it just looks so cute on there. Right, let's take this off and show you what I've made instead of just talking about it. So, there we go. Now, that's not flat, but do you know if I were to put that under something heavy overnight, it probably would lay flat. Uh, it's just that I've only just made it. So, yeah. Right, that's it. Sneak peek. <laughs> it's just got six pockets. We've got a pocket at the top. I've just put some cut down Project Life cards in. I've done them, the whole thing is four wide inches and five high, so I've cut those down by a quarter of an inch either way. You maybe need to cut a smidgen more off, so I've made them three and three quarter by four and three quarter. We've then got a pocket inside there. They're the small Project Life cards, I haven't cut those down, that's the size they come out, they're about three by four. We've got another top pocket there, let's get it on desk so you can see it. Again, another cut down Project Life card. They're so quick and handy to use if you can get one that matches your project. Or if you can't, just gesso over it and decoupage it or do whatever. Another couple of pockets inside. It's very easy this, very simple. Then on the back, we've got another top pocket with yet another Project Life card in it. Right, so I'll show you how to make it. Best made with non-directional paper or paper that... It don't matter if it's upside down. This is upside down, but you can't tell. Rose is pointing up on the front. Rose is pointing down there. Don't bother me. I can live with that. You could all, always turn that upside down anyway and cut the notch out of the top. The reason I didn't is I liked that my, my panels lined up ish. Ish, I will just say ish. Anyway, stop waffling. Show people what you're doing. Because you can talk for England, woman. Right, I've got my 12 by 12 sheet here. I'm going to grab my big scoreboard. Now this, the last sheet I used was white on one side. This has got this lovely wood grain and on the back it's got roses. Far too many roses. I can't look at them for too long, there's just too many roses. Yeah, they're oh, too bright. Right, before you start, um, no, we're going to score first, then we're going to chop. There's a reason behind that, yeah. Just chop, woman. Right. When you do this the way I've done that one, this will end up being your front cover. Your top right will be the cover. So if you were using a piece of paper that wasn't directional, you could still make this, and you would have that piece there showing on the front cover. Yeah? So I'm going to start it by turning it sideways. And I'm going to score at 5, and I'm going to score at 10. Nice and easy, that one. 5 and 10. Then I'm going to turn it what would be upside down. Yeah? Only because I'm showing you what would happen about your front cover. So, I'm then going to score at 4 inches, and 4 and 1 eighth of an inch. Then I'm going to score at 8 and 1 eighth of an inch and 8 and 1 quarter inches. Yeah, then we're going to get the big chopper out and chop some off. Or do it with your scissors, whatever you use to chop with. 
and I'm going to chop that bit off there, that two inch bit. Yes, I know we've already scored it. That's because I just, yeah, it's just because, because, because. If you're not using a paper that's got wood grain lines on like mine, you could perhaps just cut two inch off bottom straight away. But it helps me line my pattern up because sometimes I like to have things in a certain way. Yeah, then what I will do is I'll just cut those. Why have I why have I scored that wrong? I've scored one at wrong place for some absolute stupid reason. What have I done? How have I done it? I mean, should have a look what I've done. I've scored one at four and four and an eighth. I've gone and scored it four and four and an eighth. And this next one's supposed to be eight and one eighth and eight and a quarter. And I've gone one too far over. What a numpty. I'm just going to pretend I didn't do that. Just pretend she didn't do that and score it again at eight and a quarter and eight and an eighth. You daft woman. Eight and an eighth and eight and a quarter. I bet you spotted that, didn't you? Yeah, I bet you did. Oh well, we just pretend that score line's not in. Luckily, I'm using a wood grain pattern. You won't, you won't see it. You just won't see it. Right, put your scoreboard away. Right, grab your scissors. Now, what I want to do is fold that in half upwards. And I just want to make sure my edges line up. Because I've done a bit of chopping. Oh, they line up nicely. Well done. So, this is going to be the front. That's going to be the back. Sorry, that's going to be the back, that's going to be the inside part, yeah? So it's going to fold up like that. But you can see, that's not right. That's front, you'd have Womble. The wider one's the front. This is terrible today, isn't it? Yeah, I'm getting my own knickers in a twist. Right, so what we need to do is we need to cut some of these spines out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up one of the lines that I scored, up the other line that I scored, so you're cutting out an eighth of an inch plus the little bumpy bit that you scored and I'm going to do the same here, I'm going to ignore that score line that's not supposed to be there, I'm going to pretend that doesn't exist, that didn't happen, What's, what extra score line, I don't know what you mean, I haven't a clue what you're on about, I didn't do that. I could edit it out, but hey ho. You just you don't always have to chuck a piece of paper away because you make a mistake, do you? Right. So then I want to cut those little bits out all together. I like to fold my paper up to do that because I just managed to get it a little bit neater. I think it's because I've got that that sort of a straight edge into it, like that, to cut along. Yeah. That's me. You may be able to cut straight lines much easier than I can. I'm not good at them. So, now let's fold it up again. That's that. That's that. Can you see how much better now it folds because we've cut that little bit of bulk out? Right. We now need to put some notches in. I want my little pockets on the inside. So what I'm going to do now, can you see? Why I wanted to score this before. I'm just going to cut along that first score line, then that is going to be my pocket. Yeah, they, they, they nearly line up. I think it's because the lines on the paper were not completely vertical. Then this is my middle one. So again, I'm going to cut. No, that's my middle one. Yeah, so I'm going to cut that bit off that was the gusset. And then I'm going to cut up that score line. It just allows me to cut it and not have to mess about with my chopper. That's a little bit wide, so I want to just cut a smidgen more off. I've left the little bumps on the side, you know, where I scored. You know what I mean. If you've watched me before, you know what I mean by little bumps. <laughs> so, yeah, that's perfect-ish. Perfect-ish, that'll do. But I'm going to be glad to see it. Then we've got this one. Be careful where you cut this time, woman, because you may or may not have put an extra score line in. If you did, we'll just pretend we don't know anything about it. If you didn't, oh well, good. 
So, yeah, I just need to cut a little bit off. And that's that. So that's my three pockets. Right, what I'm going to do now is put my little notches in so I don't forget where they go. So that's the top notch. Another top notch. I'm using my one and a quarter inch circle punch for my notches. If you don't have a punch, just grab a something to draw around and do it. Or you don't even have to put notches in. It's not essential. Right, I'm going to do a little bit of inking here just so you can see where the pocket is and where the background is. Also, I then won't have to take it apart. <laughs> it won't be difficult for me to do this inking after, should I say. So, yeah, you can see now where that pocket goes. I'm going to ink this one. I've not got my thumb notches in the middle at all today, have I? I don't think my head's on straight. I'll tell you why I didn't get around to doing this yesterday. I went for my flu vaccine, my flu jab yesterday morning bit of a queue because it was a bit like a cattle market come and get it we had appointment times but as you got there they just stuck you in a queue so it all seems a bit pointless i suppose by giving you appointment time, they gave you illusion that you would get your job on time and i don't know i suppose they knew how many people were coming didn't they well, yeah, don't even go there as to why they did it. I've no idea. Anyway, I got my flu jab. But I don't honestly, I think, honestly, I think it's made me feel a bit off it. I don't know. Could be paranoid. Do you know, because the COVID jab made me feel a bit iffy. Maybe I'm thinking the flu jab does. I don't know. Right, I'm going to take this now. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put three notches there. I'm just going to fold it a bit as I do, just so I can have some hope of trying to get my notches in the middle. I'm going to make an awful noise when we punch, just to annoy people, because I'm in that kind of mood. So yeah, that occurred. And I ended up having another nana nap yesterday afternoon. Nana nap. Then I went to bed early, then I grew up at four in the morning. But then I thought it was a good idea to go back to bed at uh, ten this morning and slept. Well, middle of afternoon, like you do. So, all I've done so far today, then, is pack orders. Yeah. Don't know what happened to today and yesterday. I have spent more, a bit of time with kids, I think. I'm just going to ink them tops. Because, again, I want you to... That's that. And then I'm going to ink at the back where the notch is. It's a good job it a difficult one, this today, isn't it? I mean, it could have been a difficult one because there's far more you can do with this than what I'm doing. You could flip it and flap it in different directions. You could put your pockets in different places. You could go to town on this. You really could. So that's that. Right, so first thing I need to do is glue down these. Yeah. Do I want any ink? I'll put a bit of ink there before... I'm not doing bad to say I weren't inking, am I? I won't ink, I'll just ink everywhere apart from one bit, I think. Yeah. To ink or not to ink, that is the question. Anyway, I'd also like to thank everyone who has entered the giveaway for the uh, journal that I made. I'm gobsmacked by how many people have commented and entered, so thank you very much. I know not everyone comments all the time on your videos. I fully understand that because I am that kind of person. Yeah. Uh, I tend to watch my YouTube on TV. So commenting is not something that I do as I go along. Commenting is something I have to remember to do when I go on phone or laptop. And, you know, me by then I've quite often forgot what I actually watch. Never mind what I wanted to say about it. So, yeah. I do make more effort when it's smaller channels. Yeah, because then it's more, they need, well, I am a smaller channel, but not as small as some now, I've grown a bit. So yeah, the smaller you ch the channel is, the more you need those comments and interaction to help your videos get seen by other people. So yeah, the smaller a channel is, the more likely I am to get my bum out of bed, find my phone, find my glasses and put a comment on at the time I'm watching. <laughs> Otherwise, it's yeah, you're fine. You don't need my comment. You're doing fine. When a channel does get too big, I 
I often think the opposite. I think, oh, they really don't need one more comment to answer. They've already got 200. It's, I'm just giving them more work by commenting. Do you know what I mean? It's mad. Right, what am I looking for now? Glue. Here we go. I've got a cup of tea here. I think I must have best have a sip of it. Oh, that's nice. Love this mug. I don't think you can put four fox. It just says four, then there's a fox, then it says sake. It's a cute little mug. <laughs> My Amazon storefront in the funny and sarcastic. It is quite funny. What's even more funny is one of my kids decided to get that for me for Christmas or Mother's Day or birthday. I can't remember which. And I've had that mug about three, four years. So they were about 11 at time. <laughs> oh, funny. Right. What am I doing? What am I doing? Putting me, I'm all obviously putting my pocket on first, so I'm just putting my pocket on first. Yeah, there's a method in my madness putting my pocket on first. Then if it is a bit too long, I can trim it. Yeah. So pockets are going on this side, the opposite side to the thumb notches. Then it makes that pocket the opposite side, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I'm telling you much more than you need to know today. And you, you can already tell this is not my usual quick video for the... I really, if my brain were on, my head were on straight, my brain were engaged, I suppose I could have showed you this one in 10 minutes. But hey ho. Hey ho, what do you know? There we go. So that's that one. Yeah, that's okay. I think I might cut a bit off. I thought that were a bit wide, yeah. I'm just going to cut a smidgen off and use that as a guide. If it's too wide, it'll interfere with book closing up. And this one. I mean, you really could go to town on this. You could. There's so many possibilities for what you could do with these pockets. I mean, I could, I could take that flap off altogether. I could fold it that way. See what I mean? And then we'd have a rose side there and a rose side there. Put a pocket there. You can, I could cut that in half, make that a pocket. I could make a stacked pocket on one side and a single pocket on the other. You just can. There's so many things you could do. But my head's, <laughs> my head won't get around that today. And I think you need to learn the rule before you learn the exception. That is my thinking on learning. Learn the simple one first and then you can go on to learn the more complicated. In fact, I bet most of you, even if you've never made this before, just in making it, you can see all those possibilities. You can, you will. But yeah, someone has, well, people say before, how do you come up with these ideas? I play, I play with paper. I just grab a sheet of 12 by 12. I've got lots of 12 by 12 paper. I'm one of these people who has bought 12 by 12 paper for absolutely years and not actually used it. Yeah, I've always aspired to do scrapbooking, never quite got there. Lost my glue now, so I'm just fill it waffling while I find it. Here it is, under my nose. So I'm just going to glue up them sides to glue that down. I'm talking, I've got, if I put all my 12 by 12 paper on the floor, I, yeah, it could be the height of a small child. And the problem with it is, a lot of it's not nice. A lot of mine has come from, if you're in the UK, there's a shop called The Works. They have some absolutely gorgeous paper stacks, but I think they tend to put, they mix papers together that don't, I don't like together. And you'll get a piece of 12 by 12 paper and it'll have an absolutely gorgeous pattern on one side. Then on the other side, it's absolutely horrendous. It's awful. It doesn't even go with it. And, yeah, they come in handy for different projects. But even this, I wouldn't do this project with, well, I would. And I'd have to cover that up. Because it'd be like a lovely, you could have lovely pink flowers on one side. Then you get a geometric purple pattern on the other. That's how mad it is. If you're in the UK and you've bought paper pads from work, you know exactly what I mean. They're just a bit weird. I think that's the thing though, isn't it? The more expensive sometimes the paper pad, that reflects the fact that it's been designed and not just thrown together by someone who don't really know what they're doing. 
<laughs> and you're paying for that, aren't you? You're paying for that knowledge. <sighs> I don't know. They might just throw them together. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know, Rita. Right, so that's it's done. That really were that simple. So that then folds in there. That folds over there and we've got the bones of that and then as I said all I've filled it with is I've got my stacks of project life cards out here you can see bits I've cut off them right that's that's quite nice in that I like that very plain but you could do, you could decoupage that do something else on it what's that one oh, I thought that's an interesting one it's two bits of paper together but I quite like that actually that can go in. They will need inking, obviously, because they're looking a bit boring now, aren't they? What else we got? Oh, that's nice. That's pretty. That one's good. So then I need to look for some bigger ones, or just look for some pre-existing tags you've got. You don't have to use Project Life cards. You could put anything you want in these. I think... No, I don't know if I've got, I may have tags somewhere. If I have, I, I couldn't tell you where they were. I'm in that kind of mood today. So I'm going to cut one of these down and show you how to do it. So my pockets, five inches high, four inches wide. I've got glue on, no glue at the top or bottom. So I'm just going to cut this to four and three quarters. But I've got glue on either side, so even if I cut just a quarter off the width, it'd still be a tight fit. So I'm going to cut this down to three and a quarter. So the card is a half inch less wide than yeah the pocket. Right. So let's just pop that in. You can re-round your corners. Oh, you can re-round. Oh, I need to re-round my corners because I'm going to re-round my corners with this. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Sylvia, who is one of my long-time subscribers, and I'm sure it was Sylvia who told me about this punch. It's a corner rounder. It's obviously Japanese, but they do sell it on Amazon, and it's been on my wish list a while. Because it's one of those, I've got a corner rounder, yes, it annoys the life out of me because it mucks my corners up constantly if I don't get it straight. And this, although, yeah, it's not the most expensive thing in the world, there's always been something more important for me to buy. But Sylvia has very kindly bought me this as an early Christmas present. Thank you so much, Sylvia. And here it is. It does three different corners. We've got small, medium and large. Do you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to go for medium. I'm guessing medium is what I want. I've no idea. Oh, that's perfect. You can feel. I love it. You can feel when it's in properly. Oh, look at that. Right, this one, I, I don't know, it's something to do with design. I put my corner in it. Can you see what I mean? Yeah, you can feel, but it quite often... Let's you put it in. I don't know what it is. It lets you put it in not quite straight. And then you get that. And then you try and straighten it up and you can't. Can you see what I mean? It's got such a small space inside. Yeah, if... Let's see, I've made a right old mess of that. So let's put it in this one and see what occurs. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to try the bigger corner now, to just to get rid of the mess I made with my first corner punch. And you can see, oh I like that you can see. Oh look at that, it's not going anywhere or wiggling. Oh, and it, it's so easy to punch, you think you've not done it. Wowza, me like it. So I think the large one is more like the medium one on the other, I like it. Oh yes, the medium one is more like the small one on the other. And I've gone off on a complete tangent now. I want to see what this punch does. So what does the small one do? I'm interested. Oh yeah, you can even get small bits in. Oh, I love that. That's so small and cute. We like. Thank you so much, Sylvia. Oh, lovely, lovely. 
you know, I need to go onto my buy me a coffee site so I can thank people who bought me a coffee. I've got some problem with it. I can't get on the site. If you do buy me a coffee, I get a notification from the payment, but I'm not getting a notification from the buy me a coffee itself and I can't get on the site. But it's obviously still working. I think I need to reset a complete new password. So, but I need to get on and see who's bought me coffees. Because quite often the notification says someone has bought you a coffee. Oh, so I'd like to thank someone for all the coffees they've bought me. Yeah, mad. But yeah, Sylvia, thank you, I love it. That is so easy to use. Do you know if anyone's got dexterity issues? I, I've only used this once and I'm loving it. Wow, it's just so easy. Look, I can't stop doing it. Let's uh, punch another one. Can I use it in my hand? <gasps> Works perfect in your hand. You don't have to have it flat on the desk. Oh, it's so much. It's just, yeah. Yeah, can I do this quick? Can it work? Oh, yeah. That's the trouble I find with this one. You have to spend too much time lining it up. I'm still keeping it. It's going to be my spare one now. Yeah, it's going to be my spare. <laughs> this is my new gorgeous one and this is a kiddo I won't say it I won't say it and it keeps all my little it's catching all my little what's it's little bits oh look at that so then I can put them all in bin together look at that wowza I'm very happy with that thank you so much Sylvia thank you ah <laughs> There you go, don't drop it woman. I'm so clumsy sometimes. Right, what were I doing? Oh yes, I'm making a project. I bet you've all, everyone who doesn't know me is gone now thinking, what is that woman on about? So there we have it. I've made one card. <laughs> I've no idea where I put it. It's here. It's here. How I'm rounding it with corner around it. Oh my word. I think I need putting out to pasture. Just for it. it's good, perhaps do we making that a bit narrower, and that really is it. Uh, as far as the front goes, uh, this one's going to need decorating. So you can, uh, oh, oh, look at this. Yeah, I did get this out with a mind to make one with my. These are my bits that were left over from my. Is it called? Oh, I don't know. It's stamp area and it is a rose. Oh, look at those. It's a stamp area rose uh, pack that were bought for me by the lovely Deborah. Oh, look at that. Just look at it. Look at it all. <laughs> I, I, that's something I just say a lot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That would be a lovely tag. I could decorate this one with these. Look at that. Yeah, just look at it. How many times is she going to say, look at that? There we go. I mean, I had the idea and then I forgot about it. Oh, it just goes perfectly. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm going to make that into a tag and that's going to go there. Let's grab my... Yeah, I'm, here, I'm here and I'm waffling today. The quick project has been going on for half an hour. <laughs> so as you can tell, it's not my usual quick project, is it? But hey-ho, what do you know? couldn't even do that I missed the edge first time then I cut into the plastic second time <sighs> yeah some days you just it's just not happening is it oh that's gonna be beautiful in there I like that oh I could put another little pocket on front I want to put another pocket on front for these lovely tag shaped tags I really do and I'm gonna use one of these scraps for it oh what about a belly band I don't know let's have a looky see I like that I really do I know we're missing part of the rose but I think I can live with that and then we can pop another little rose tag in we did have more than one rose tag I like that oh that's gonna be gorgeous yeah I'm just gonna turn that into a pocket it's as easy as one two three I'm gonna do that does it want to be a square pocket or does it want rounded corners? No, it wants to be square because then it will match the rest of the project. I'm going to get some ink on it. So that was a very impromptu pocket. 
Although I did get those pieces out with the intention of using them, but then forgot I'd got the pieces out with the intention of using them. Hmm. Yeah, I started saying this earlier. I think, yeah, that flu job has really... Yeah, it's... Boggle my brain. I've not inked the outside, have I? Get some ink on outside. I inked lots of this, but not all of it. I just inked the bits that I couldn't ink afterwards, didn't I? That's it. That just looks so... Sometimes ink makes things look so much better. You don't always need it, but sometimes I think you do. But it's your choice, isn't it? I suppose sometimes I could do inking things and then don't, and vice versa. Yeah, just do what you want. So that take that. Oh, I watched Dash of Dave today live. Yeah, Dash of Dave. I think we're more like Dollop of Dave. <laughs> Quite a long live. I did it while I were packing a couple of parcels and cooking. Yeah, that's the other thing I managed to do today. Cook a full Sunday lunch. Roast pork, roast potatoes, parsnips, stuffing. Yeah, halt trimmings, halt bag of mashings. I forgot I'd done that, wondering where time had gone. Uh, oh yeah, that's going on there. So I'm just going to glue this on three sides with my art glitter glue. That has been behaving since I've been remembering to put pin in. Ow! <laughs> I've stabbed myself. Go on, you can do it. That's just not happening. I need to hold it with the other hand. I can't find... There we go. Ecky thump indeed. Oh yeah, I like that. Is it straight enough? That's straight enough. And then we can pop a few little rosy tags in. I will we could pop a couple in there. I think I want that one put front. One in there. I may have to find another one. And as you can see, you can go to town with this. Put all sorts in it. That will go there. I love it. It's obviously going to need something in it. I think that one will too. I'm getting really carried away with this now. To say it was going to be a simple project. I'm now just decorating it and embellishing it on a whim. Hmm. Not wrong with that, is that? I think I need to put some... Holes in and some seam binding. I think, oh, I might need to put another rose charm on. Yes, I do have another couple of the little rose charms from Fiona. These are the smaller ones. I think that looks so cute on that. Yeah. So, yeah. Get your hole puncher. Luckily you did. Yeah, that's what else I did. I tidied my craft room up. Yeah, I did that yesterday while I was talking on uh, Facebook Live to Cheryl. Tidied my craft room up. That's that. I'm going to put one in there. Hey, let's get some eyelets out. I'm going to try this. Sometimes they don't behave these eyelets when you're putting it through one thin piece of card, but I'm going to give it a whirl, see what occurs. If it don't work, I'll take it out and do something else. Oh, that one's gone pretty good. Yeah, that one's behaved. See, it goes teeny weeny slightly misshapen. I don't know why. Probably because the design's go through leather, not a single sheet of card. Because I really can't be bothered to make holes. I'm not in a making holes to go around kind of mood. <laughs> yeah, that one's okay too. So. That can go in the top. It's obviously not going to go all the way down now because I've put a hole in and I'm going to put something in it. But I quite like that. That can go there. I'm going to grab my seam binding bag, see what I've got. That's a bit. Is that the same pink I put around the other one? I don't know. That's a. I keep all my teeny bits just in case. Just in case. That's an empty bottle. We don't need that in. Could have some nice bits of green. Maybe the wrong green though. I really need to re-dye some light green. Oh, that's good. That's yellow. I thought that were green. That's green. 
Oh, it's a bit bright green, isn't it? Yeah, really need to get dyeing. I'm getting low on bits of... Ooh, I'm very tempted to put a bit of red on. I can, because it'll... It's the same colour as that rose. Oh, I've just found the other pink bit. That's the, oh, that's the spare one I want for tying around it to match the other. Right. I think I want to put a bit of red on. I really do. Make a change, won't it? I'm going to thread it through and then tie it in a bow. So it's just like a bow at the top of the tag. For some reason, I think it may be that it's getting near Christmas. I think that looks nice. <laughs> Christmassy bow. I quite like that. Makes a change to use a bit of red, doesn't it? And what did I decide to print other one? What's going to look good? I think I'm just going to put some pink in. Yeah, because I've got pink going round it to tie it. I think pink will look good. And I'm going to tie the pink with a little bit of something else. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just going to put it all through. Yeah, don't need to tie it or anything else. Put them both through. And sometimes I like when you have to twist them up to get them through, whether it frays the edges. Saves you having to do it yourself. You just can't keep neat edges on seam binding. It doesn't happen. When I were, uh, when I were a mini album maker, when I was more a perfectionist, I didn't like seam binding then for that very reason. Right, that's that. I'm going to grab a... What's those pins called? These bulb clips. Bulb pin. I'm going to use the gold one again because it goes so well with the rose. And I'm going to pop that through my little rose. And that's going to go on my bit of pink ribbon that I'm going to put around it. So... Really quite happy with this. I'm just gonna keep wrapping that till I run out of ribbon. Move it down a bit. There we go. Oh, very fluffy and pink that one, isn't it? You can of course make it in any colour you want, you could do it Christmas. -y. And I think, yeah, I want it on the seam binding. I'm not putting it through, I'm just putting it around. You can put it through. And there we go. So, that's that. Where's the original one that I made? Have I lost it? It's highly likely that I've lost it. <laughs> There's only me can lose something while doing a video when it's the thing the video's on and I've just shown it you. There it is. Right, so... You need to go that way around. This one looks quite plain now, outside of that one I've just done. And because it's cracking on time-wise, I think it's going to be a two-item thumbnail, this. Normally, I'll make one to show you, then I'll make one, and then I'll do another one while my video uploads. So I've got three for my thumbnail, but I think I'll be up while uh, two in the morning if I do that. Oh, yeah, I'm not tired yet because I had a nana nap. Right, move everything you don't need. And there we have it. Two little junk journal inserts, ephemera pockets, whatever you want to call them. And yes, that was the quick video done not so quickly today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.